there's been more bloodshed in the 20th century than any other century. Mm -hmm. And in the 21st century, the abortion rate today, we're facing 2,500 children in America alone killed every single day. So the leading cause of death, period, is abortion. Mm -hmm. Kills more people than car accidents, cancer, certainly than COVID even during the pandemic. And so, you know, we're Christians in this land, you know, yeah. and we're trying uh, to share the truth and share love. Yeah. But there are literally our own brothers and sisters who are being led away to be killed in facilities set up sometimes in the same street as our churches mm. where they're being torn apart into pieces, dismembered children, you know, through all nine months of pregnancy, it's legal here in mm. California and mm. in states across the country. You know, I've studied social reform movements and human rights abuses, but we are so desensitized yes. to the extreme bloodshed of our most yeah. vulnerable members of society. Yeah. What do we do? What is, what, what is our response? I think one of the biggest crisis, crises in the church is this fear of speaking directly to matters. Okay, so I started ministry in the 90s. And, you know, in the 90s, the morality in the U.S., obviously it's never been biblical, but it was a lot closer. So you could preach openly about things and be accepted by a large number of people. That's no longer true. Um, certain topics like this, you bring it up and you'll immediately be canceled by a large swath of people. No matter how sensitive you are, they're just against it. And so for that reason, you have leaders that are like, well, I just won't address that issue because it's too divisive and I want people to know God. And if I talk about that, then they'll reject me. And and I... And so it, it kind of baffles my mind Yeah. because you look at the writings of St. Paul Yeah. and he's oh. like calling out if this oh. church is not paying attention on gluttony or sexuality issues. Yeah. He just calls them out. He says, you have forgotten the oh. teaching, da, da, da. And he like lays in on yeah. them, right? And I just look at like, the today the abortion rate yeah. is the same yeah. among those who identify as Christian. Yeah. Now they're not necessarily going to church every Sunday or mass every Sunday if they're Catholic, mm -hmm. but who identify as Christian mm -hmm. or Catholic as it is among people who don't, Gosh. according to surveys of people who've had abortions. And you know, I was raised in a beautiful evangelical church. I basically never heard abortion talked about. Mm -hmm. And I went to my youth pastor when I had a realization of what abortion was, and I said, we've got to talk about this, the abortion is a day. It took a year to persuade him. And finally, wow. you know, we got through, we were able to talk about it mm. in, the, in the youth group. But it just, why? Why when there's lives at risk in our pews sometimes? Well, I think right now, I'm not saying it's right, but pastors are just fighting to keep anyone around. People are dividing over everything. Mm. And so... I really feel for ministers today because it's like, well, are you, you know, who did you vote for? Oh, you vote for that guy. Okay, we're leaving. You know, are you wearing a mask? I'm leaving. Did you get vaccinated? I'm leaving. Or you did go to that BLM rally. Okay, no, I'm leaving. Everything is just people are leaving for all sorts of reasons. So I think a lot of them are shell shocked in the thought of, well, why don't I just talk about abortion this week? Yeah. <laughs> You know, well, it's like pick your battles. Exactly. I'm not saying as a pastor you got to come out there on every political issue. No, no, and there absolutely. are two sides on a lot of political issues totally. that you can reasonably make yes, even yes, as a yes. Christian. Yeah. But on an issue about whether or not it should be mm -hmm. okay, whether societally or legally, to kill a child in the womb. Yeah. Yeah. Wouldn't I mean, don't you think that's kind of baseline? It is. I I personally don't know of leaders who actually believe that it's okay. Um, Meaning you think- Christian leaders. You think most Christian leaders think abortion's wrong, but that isn't- But they won't talk about it. Do you think they really see abortion for what it is? Like, like let's just put it this way. Okay, if yeah, instead yeah, yeah. of it being a pre-born child that's taken into you know, Planned Parenthood and abortion clinics, it was, a one, it was an 18 month old. Yeah. If 18 month olds were being taken in yes. to centers yes. across San Francisco, San yeah, Jose, yeah, yeah. Los Angeles, wherever, yeah and kill 2,500 a day legally. Yeah. Right now, people would be like, I'm against that. 
But I who hope knows so. where? Well, yeah. yeah. What, but my point is, yeah. who knows where the world's going to where pretty soon we could be desensitized to that? Because it's and silly that, right now, right? Right. But that's it's, where if you don't speak against the child being killed in the womb, and it should be enough to speak against them. Yeah. You're right. We're going to yeah. get desensitized. So 18 months is okay, but what about nine months or about three months, you know, and then it's like, okay, right up until conception, you know, or to, you know, the delivery, like it doesn't make sense wherever you draw that line. It's just, it's life. But the longer we think we can play this game of sticking one step ahead of the world, as long as, well, at least I believe that, you know, the last three months, that's real life. I'm a, I'm ahead of a lot of people. And I think sometimes as Christians, you almost feel like if I'm a little bit. A little more moral yeah, than everybody yes, else. Yes, yes. I'm good. Exactly. Which is really dangerous. Yeah, rather than. Either I heard this right illustration of like, here's the church, you know, here's the Bible, here's the world. And as the world moves away from the Bible, the Christian is kind of in the middle following the world. Feeling, well, I'm still closer to the Bible than the world is. And, but the world's going further and further, and we're, we're, we're running from this book. We're following, but justifying it, saying, well, I'm not like them. Yeah, but you're way over here already. Mm -hmm. You know, you, you, we gravitate away from this book. 